this is the truth about Olaplex. How my hair went from this to this. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll be showing you and telling you all of the secrets behind Olaplex and how to use it the proper way in my experience. So take notes and enjoy. I'm going to be doing an Olaplex treatment on my hair. Favorite product for, you know, putting the bonds back in my hair. Uh, I've been using Olaplex for maybe a year and what is this? Eight months now. Um, I'm not super consistent with it like I used to be, but I'm striving my very hardest to get back to getting my curls back and wearing my hair natural all the time. So Olaplex is my go-to product to get the curls back in my hair, repair heat damage, color damage, anything like that. I've had this color in my hair for about a year now. Um, and I also cut my hair into bobs a lot. So I'm really trying to grow my hair out. And the number three, I don't have much in here, but a little does go a long way. I'll keep this in my hair for about 10 minutes and then I'll go in with the Olaplex number four shampoo and then I'll go in with the Olaplex number five conditioner. I am 100% all natural. I have never had a relaxer in my hair. I've never had anything like that in my hair before. No keratin treatments or anything like that. But I definitely do advise Olaplex, even if you have had a treatment in your hair, like a perm or a relaxer, um, color, bleaching, anything like that, this is the number one product that I recommend to all of my clients, anybody who struggles with putting the bonds back in your hair, anything like that. So I'll go ahead and I'll open it up, okay? And then I'll just spray it all over my hair. They say work it in from the end to the root. And that's what I'll do. Um, and then I'll wash my hair when I'm in the shower. I wash it three times with Olaplex shampoo. And I'll also show you guys how I do my flat twist twist out in this video. Um, I never wore my hair natural before. I was... A silk press queen definitely a silk press girly for sure I will put braids in my hair every once in a while but I definitely just wasn't comfortable with my natural hair but then I started to use Olaplex on my hair and I will wash my hair once every two weeks with it and I definitely use their conditioner a lot the conditioner and the number three I utilized it a lot in my hair regimen when I was going natural especially for my twist outs I would wash my hair and then that one day um, that one week and then I would condition it and then I would do a twist out with some foaming mousse. Olaplex does not have a foaming mousse yet. Hopefully they will get one. Um, I would use the mousse in my hair. I would do a twist out in my hair and then I would wear that for maybe two or three days and then I would rinse my hair again. I wouldn't wash it. I would go through it. I would rinse it, put more conditioner in it and, and I would just do another twist out and I would do that for the week. So I would probably twist my hair out twice a week. I wouldn't, um, but yeah, Olaplex is definitely my number one hair go-to product. I love Olaplex. Um, they should definitely sponsor me because I definitely am their number one advocate. I wore my hair natural for about from the end of December, which was around Christmas time, to December, I mean January. And I definitely saw a difference in my curls and my hair. And I was actually pretty surprised how defined my hair was because I had heat damage out of this world. So the heat damage definitely reverted back to curls because of the, the bond repair in the Olaplex. I did not do a big chop. I didn't do anything like that. If you are a girl who does like to do big chops, okay, do a big chop and then get rid of the heat damage that you have that way. But there, you don't have to do that. If you're consistent with your Olaplex and you're consistent with, consistent with your hair regimen, you should be fine. You'll see results within a month or two. December 25th, 2021 until I want to say February 2022, I saw a drastic difference in my hair from using Olaplex for an entire month and some change. Um, before, I washed my hair three times with the Olaplex can shampoo, number four, number four. Um, and why I got my before I got my hair done, I colored my hair this red color. I had red before, but I went in and refreshed my roots. My you see it just a teensy bit. So now I'm gonna go in with my Olaplex number five conditioner. I don't have that much in here, but I have enough to do my hair right now. Um, I'm not gonna rinse this out completely. I'm gonna make my hair a little damp. I'm gonna wet it before I twist it out. I have a little bit of heat damage, as you can see on my ends. It's out so. Um, 
I actually used to use this on my clients and whatever I left over I have I just keep for myself um so I'll go in with that and make sure when you do this that your hand your hair is damp it doesn't have to be soaking wet but make sure that you go in and you really just work the conditioner all the way through your hair um when you use the Olaplex shampoo a little definitely goes a long way like you can probably use the size of maybe a dime and that's all that you need because it gets super suzzy it doesn't take much for it to lather up and get soapy in your hair it does a great job cleaning your hair i've used the olaplex number four which is the regular shampoo but then i've also used the olaplex force nc i think it is or four c something like that where it's a clarifying shampoo and the clarifying shampoo basically if you haven't washed your hair in a while and you have built up product on your hair like gel or anything like that or you have like a a pretty rough scalp not rough but it has some buildup on it as of dandruff or anything like that product whatever you have on your hair it cleanses it and it definitely does a really good job um it doesn't leave your hair feeling dry it doesn't leave it feeling like um just dry like i never had that experience where my hair felt dry after washing it ever after using olaplex one thing I do love about this conditioner, I can say, is I use it as a deep conditioner and I'll sit underneath of my hooded dryer with a with a disposable cap on my head. Go in with my Olaplex number six. Um, like I said I was gonna do. And basically, give me a flat twist. It's best to do this to your hair while it's damp because it doesn't have to be soaking wet, but damp is best just so it can come out the way that I want it to come out. And you'll see, so I part my hair down the middle and then I'll part from the middle down to my ear. Something like that. And I'm just gonna a little goes a long way with Olaplex. And I'm just gonna, ooh, I'm gonna work that in to my hair. Really get that going in there. Now I'm gonna go in with my She Is Bomb Foam Mousse. I'm not really big on this one, but this is the only one that I have at the moment. The only reason I'm not really big on this one, it kind of leaves my hair feeling dry afterwards, which I really don't like. So it kind of kind of throws off my Olaplex, but I've only, this is a pretty full bottle if you can hear. So I'm gonna go in and just put some of that on my hand and kind of work it around my edge first because I'm gonna do my first twist going down my edges. Um, and I kind of just part down like that all the way down. And I'll take my clip and I'll clip my hair up like that. And I'll kind of turn so you guys can see what I'm doing. Then I take more mousse. This hairstyle does require quite a bit of mousse. And I will work that into the whole section. I'll make sure that it's really detangled so I don't have to fight with my hair. Super cute. Okay, and then I'll just... not braiding it but I'm just taking one section at a time Now I'll take the end of it
So there are a few things that you can do once you're done your twist out. You don't need these clips. I prefer to have these clips in my hair only because sometimes it unravel, unravels where my hair ends kind of to my scalp. Um, so I usually, like I said before, I will put a scarf on my head at night, keep it on all night, then wake up in the morning, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face, do whatever I have to do. And another option that you have is you can sit underneath a hooded dryer. It takes hours for your hair to dry, maybe two, two and a half hours. I'm not doing that because like I said before, I like my roots to be just a little bit puffy, um, or not all the way dry, just a little bit damp. So by time it's time for me to take it out. My hair can air dry the rest of the way. The roots of it can air dry the rest of the way so it can just give it a little bit more volume. Okay, so this is the next morning. Um, my hair is pretty much dry all the way. Um, as you can see, once you are like done with the drying process, you can really see where your heat damage is when you do a twist now so you know what areas really need the most oil flex or just the most treatment my hands in this oil so when i separate my hair it won't be any kind of fuzziness or extreme fuzziness this is the oilplex number seven bond oil i love this oil um even when i do a silk press so to open it up and i'm just gonna color my hands in it make sure that your hands are pretty oily when you do this so i'm gonna start in the back of my head And what I'll do is I'll wear my hair like this for maybe a day or two. I'll put my bonnet on at night and then when I get up in the morning I'll just fluff my hair out. This came out super cute. Um, this is what the back of my head looks like. Um, I don't even know what it looks like but I know it's cute. So I won't cut off these pieces that are straight. Because our goal here is to see how long it takes for my hair to get back curly without doing any kind of scissors or anything like that any kind of chopping anything like that um, because I wear my hair in silk presses too honestly another reason why I'm not just going in and cutting is because when I straighten my hair I don't want the, it to be choppy so my goal here is to see how long it takes my hair to get curly again and for the bonds to put get put back into my hair which I don't think it's gonna take long so the next time that I do my hair will probably be two or three days from now and what I'll do is I won't wash it because I wash it this cycle I'll drench it with the water and then I'll put conditioner in my hair and then I'll rinse that conditioner out and then I'll either do a Olaplex number six or Olaplex number eight and that number eight is a hair mask so I'll leave that in for a little bit and I'll rinse it out but yeah this is what the outcome is if you have any questions or just want to know anything a little bit more about Olaplex and what I've had in my personal experience just leave a comment below and I'll let you know